women's singles here. I'm not sure what Alan Hopkins was trying to get across there, but we're underway. I think a lot of us who have played just um, recreational table tennis don't fully appreciate uh, the physicality of the game at, at this level. And you can see the players constantly working on keeping their hands free of perspiration. And also under the lights and in a stadium, and uh, it's very easy to uh, lose a grip on a racket if you don't uh, keep the sweat off it. To a piece. Close opening encounters. Oh. Well, I think the lesson learned there is not to give her any width on the forehand. That came flying down the line. Just long. Good little exchange between these two. Happy to be attacking and have attacking intent. These athletes, both these athletes, of course, with gold medals to their name. So they're comfortable in this atmosphere and in this environment. It won't phase them at all. A lovely forehand from Mao Jingdian. Just stroked it across. Well, it didn't look like it had a lot of power, but it certainly did. And it set up the point. And she's now four ahead of Kang Kang Kung Fu. A little steadier there. Kang Kung Fu had lost five points in a row. Having led 3 2. It's long, took a bit of the net on the way through to very silky, aren't they? These uh, forehands from Cam Kalsen Fu. Oh, yes. Well, she shows she can play on the backhand as well. Starting to string the points together. Got a full range of shots. That was finished by the forehand, but it was the backhands that made the points. Oh, no, just missing out there. Again, seemed to be in control of the point. Happy just to nullify the spin from Mao on her shots. Four and game points. Yeah, it's come quite quickly. The match being played at a brisk pace. And that would be that. It's a, an error strewn first game, really. I think five of the six opening points were lost by the server. And it was a, a more conventional flow of points, but a couple of soft errors, it has to be said at times, from uh, Cam Kosanfushi. Actually buried a serve into the net, which is most unusual at this level. That's a gift of a point to your opponent. 11-6, the first to Mao.
Second game then, first one, and it took five minutes to wrap up, went the way of Mao Jingdian. There were some classy shots from the French woman. I wonder whether she can prevail in this game and put the, uh, the shots into something of a winning run. Apologizes for the lucky Nick Cord. Dropping the first 11 6, you'll take the points how they come. Well, she has a very powerful backhand, but you've got to make sure there's a bit of control to it. That was a bit wild. Oh, what a point that was. Goodness me. That one almost came around the net from Mao Ching Dian. She's forced well wide. Nothing wrong, nothing illegal about coming around the side of the net, as long as it lands properly. That's better from uh, some food. Might even have taken the edge of the table as well. She's not apologising for that. It was going to be a winner either way. But, you know, I just wonder if the coach would be thinking about suggesting look just stay in the rallies a little longer you're going for the outright winner very early it's gone longer again if it's there to be hit and you hit a winner do it but like you say sometimes you'll be a little bit keen and well perhaps that's exactly what's going to be said because the timeout clock is on the table and the uh, French team are having a conversation now one, one consequence of anxiety is that, uh, that you can rush your play. Yeah, look at the scoreboard for the uh, French coach. That was enough to bring his charge in. And you can see why. Didn't take too much of that minute. Just enough to uh, set things he hopes right. shot from Mao at all and still three points adrift in this second game. And a little bit further in. Conversations where there was a I don't know he's, he's gonna be penalized. Uh, yeah there's gonna be a penalized Station for the serve again. I think it was Tse uh, Me Lan who was mentioning it. it is in fact a let. But if it happens again and they pick it up, they'll lose the point. You've got to be able to see it if you're the opponent in the palm of the hand, and it's got to be thrown up at least 16 centimeters. There are some allowances in Paralympic table tennis, of course, if you're not able to do that. That's better from the French woman. More controlled aggression, wasn't it? The, the shots look more likely to find their marks. Not going for absolutely everything, just enough to put the opponent on the defensive. with herself because it was there the point was there to be won can press some food the cross about that one and the 
within touching distance now. A couple of really big points coming up here. Oh. Well, that was the yeah. side spin that did that, I think. Mm -hmm. And in an effort to just brush over the top of the ball and put all this top spin on, missed it completely. Eight apiece. But uh, now has two serves here. Yeah, nicely done. Couldn't finish it off with the first forehand, but smashed it. Oh, took a touch of the net. And there wasn't much that Council Phil could do about that. Couldn't readjust in time. Two game points to take a two games to nothing lead. Oh, she's furious with herself with that shot. A little bit tame and she surrenders the game and is trailing two games to nothing in this Class 8 women's singles gold medal match. Twenty-two points to fourteen <coughs> overall. Very animated French coach. He knows his athlete is in a bit of a corner and uh, there's no time out for him left. So get the message across now and hope it sticks to Kassem of France is having to win this game to stay in this gold medal match. How can she turn this around? I mean, if you say so if you keep doing the same thing, you'll keep getting the same result. Took the net on the way through, went long. She has, I mean, she has very potent forehands, backhands, but uh, it's just not firing for her at the moment, is it? First three points of the third game. Going to Mao Jingdian of Beijing. See, that's a much better point. We're talking about that silky, the smoothness of the forehand, and yeah, uh, able to follow it with the backhand afterwards. Yeah, it worked that time, but she's still going for a lot early. Worked that time again, but there it was there for the shot. Out wide, able to get to it, cross the table, use the forehand again, and she's once again within touching distance, but she's always been chasing this match. go we've had the warning and now we have the fault I have been so hot I mean I've been talking to people who feel it's a little bit harsh at times not sure how much uh, advantage you're getting over your opponent whether they can or can't see the ball but anyway umpires have decided throughout this tournament they're going to be very watchful on that and all of a sudden 6-2, she's in danger of losing this match. And it's long again. 
Well, she doesn't seem to have the right temperament at the moment to get back into the game. It's all or nothing. When it's going well, I'm sure she's a confidence player. But it's just not there at the moment. Another touch of the net as it went through. Had to hurry the shot. Oh, what a rally. And Karen Kassenfo can't quite believe it. She was playing nicely, but still couldn't boss the point. Two great shots there. Look for the forehand. She's played it before, but she pushed it wide. Now she... six points in a row. And another one brings her to within touching distance of the gold medal. Gold medal points are plenty for her. That's better from the French woman. And it's gone long, and that'll do it. Well, she was always in control. Now, Jing Dian, the woman from Beijing, takes back-to-back -back gold medals in Class 8 women's singles. Gold in London, and a gold here. And she beats the world number one from France in the process. A disappointing final, I think we have to say, from Tukam Kasumfu. She was rarely in it. It took uh, barely 20 minutes. Yeah, 18 on the clock, and the final shot went through. Sometimes a quick game is a good game, but only if you win it. <laughs> and 11-6, uh, 11-8, 11-3 for Mao Jingdian. And she's Paralympic champion.